Welcome to Flickering Myth Gaming's 7-Day Replay. I'm your host, Gerald James, and joined by Alan Christian. Hello. Hi, Alan. Hi. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Stained reference, gotta do it. Um, So, let's just jump into it, guys. We're not going to cover everything because, you know, it's it's been a long time. This is a 7-Day Replay. What happened last week? Oh, yeah, that's rhetorical. So... The first thing that happened is apparently Respawn, under the EA umbrella, you might remember them as the guys who used to be Infinity Ward. Now they are the Apex Legends guys. They did Titanfall. Apparently they've been given the helm of three Star Wars games. Three of them. Yeah. Yeah. They made the only good one under EA so far, so. That's true. That's true. Fallen Order. And one of them is, of course, going to be a sequel to that. And another one's probably going to be an FPS. I think that actually was announced that it would be an FPS. So it's not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's, of course, the word was that EA lost all of the Star Wars licenses because of how bad Battlefront did. They lost exclusivity. Right. That was always a thing. They weren't like, we'll, we'll never will EA make a Star Wars game again. <laughs> so they, they get another crack at it. But it was pulled away from DICE. So... They ain't doing too hot right now. What's Dice's fault? I don't know. It's good core gameplay there. True, but it's people ain't happy about EA game EA business practices. <laughs> Twenty forty two Battlefield ain't doing so hot right now either. So it's uh Dice got some works to do. Yeah. Our second story of the week is uh, some problems on the Dark Souls side of things. Uh, Apparently, the servers for Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, for all of the uh, PvP and stuff like that, have had to have been taken down because there was an exploit that was found that allowed people to edit things on the side of those they invaded. So it sounds like, you know, people can go into your game and just hack your side of things so that you're the one that gets banned or what have you instead of the hacker. Interesting stuff. Um, it's been down for five days. Five days, still not back up yet. And this is a month before Elden Ring releases. So this is huge. Now, of course, this is just on PC. It doesn't affect the PlayStation or Xbox servers. But still, that's where a lot of their people play. And it's kind of a huge, uh, a huge failing. Hopefully, they get this resolved soon. Even though I know all their attention is on Elden Ring right now, they really need to figure something out on those servers. Yeah. And lastly, of course, we've already talked about the Activision Blizzard buyout by Microsoft. If you haven't watched that video, we've got a link below or there or there somewhere. But one of the things that we were, I don't even know if it came up in the video, is the exclusivity of probably one of the biggest games in the world, Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, and of course, a lot of people have been concerned about what's going to happen with Call of Duty if this is going to become just an Xbox game, which would be admittedly really, really weird. Um, the good news, and this is going to be kind of a short-sighted thing, The uh, Phil Spencer has said that he plans to keep it multi-platform. But for how long, I don't know. I think this might be something he's saying just because of the contracts and play here. There's already the contract through Activision to Sony to release the game on there. And I think they even have some type of uh, marketing like contract in play where they get to throw the best on PlayStation at the end or something like that. So I think that might be what he's referring to. And we've heard that that contract goes through three games. So the next three Call of Duty games. That might be for three years, or it might be counting the next Warzone, or their next Battle Royale as one of the games, which comes out alongside the multiplayer and all that. People that think that these games aren't going to go exclusive to Microsoft platforms are deluding themselves. <laughs> the only way that's going to be the case is if there has to be a drastic change in Microsoft's business model three to four years from now. I, it's going to be dependent upon how desperate Microsoft gets, I think. Because there's still a ton of money 
and releasing them on the other platforms. Sure, but they want you to get on their platforms. That's where they want to make their money. That's where they want to make their money. But they are doing like one of the most radical things that's ever been done in the gaming industry, period. So if some of this starts to maybe not pan out in three years, yeah, yeah, it might still be multi-plat. They might be looking to go a different route. Business-wise, Phil Spencer might lose his job. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I guarantee you that their plan was not to spend near almost $70 billion dollars so that you can still have your games anywhere you want them. I don't know. Like honestly, being able to say, yeah, you can buy it on PlayStation, or you know, if you've got Game Pass, you already have the game. That's kind of big too. That's almost a thing. That's almost a thought. I'm glad I almost had a thought. <laughs> that's what I strive for. I, I think that's a that's a possible future. I think what you're saying is a possible future for sure but I think that they want exclusivity. Gaming's crazy right now, y'all. This is the biggest thing. We've we talked about it, but this yeah. is crazy. This is insane. Yeah, we did like half an hour on this. Go check it <laughs> yeah. out. <laughs> Throw it on in the background and, you know, do yoga while you listen to us talk about Activision Blizzard being The dulcet tones of us trying to figure out the gaming industry. No one will. No one ever will. No. It's a monopoly. And because I forgot we had four stories this week, <laughs> the real last bit of news is apparently the Switch has now surpassed the sales of the Wii, which has been the strongest selling home console for Nintendo, mm -hmm. as well as the PlayStation 1. Now, of course, this doesn't make it the greatest selling home console of all time. It still has to surpass the PlayStation 2 and 4. Yes. Plus, it still has the handheld of the DS yes. to surpass. So it's still got some more milestones ahead of it. But we're only, what, three years into the life cycle of this thing? No. We hit five years in March. Oh. Well, we're only five years into... Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, I've seen predictions say that it's going to sell 21 million units this year. Mm -hmm. Possible? You I, know, they I, released the SWOLED. So, you know... Nobody wants... I mean, whatever. <laughs> so I got, that was I, the biggest... So I got a spiel on it that I won't go into. That was the strangest thing ever. It's like... I mean, there's nothing new in the hardware side of things. It still plays games at 720p on your TV. But... But... Yeah, it still plays games at 1080p, some of them. But it still plays them on, in 720 on your... Beautiful OLED, OLED screen, yeah. I don't think this was the way, like, they needed to do a, they needed to do a pro. Let's be honest. Yeah. They needed to do a pro to get people who've already bought the Switch to go out and buy another one. I At this point, I I hope they get up there. I, there's no way they're not I'm an the idiot. PS2. I won't even buy that thing. Yeah. He is an idiot. <laughs> but I'm just, I want them to have really strong sales numbers, but, eh. They're not going to get to the PS2 heights with the Switch. No, I don't think anything's hitting PS2 ever. I no, think, you're right. I don't, I don't think anything's touching that. I don't think anything will ever have that kind of market dominance. Yeah. Because that that was market dominance. That was pure market dominance. <laughs> like, I don't think anything's ever going to do that again. I don't think that you'll ever see the gaming industry in that situation. Well, I mean, it could or be Microsoft once being, they just own everything. Yeah, maybe. Or being the cheapest DVD player on the market at the same time. Also fair. PS2 had a lot going for it. Very unique situation. True. So I don't think anything's hitting that again. Could catch PS4. <laughs> fingers crossed for you, Switch. Even though I'm you know, a Sony guy. But fingers crossed for you. <laughs> All right, we've got two heavy-hitting... Upcoming games coming yeah. out this next week. I, I guess have you hidden, right? People will have heard of these? Yes, people will have heard of these. Unlike the other four <laughs> that are coming out this week. Uh, this is the calm before the storm, essentially, which is ha, funny because the first one up on the first, we've got Life is Strange Remastered coming to the next-gen consoles and everything. I say it's funny because they had Before the Storm as one of the DLCs. And, you know, it was, it's oh. funny. Oh, I, I know you don't care about these games. 
<laughs> so I'm just like a deer in headlights. So it's like, what's the joke? I made a good one. Cool. Uh, of course, I've got a lot of ex-girlfriends who are happy about this, I'm sure, if I still talk to them. But it's not really my cup of tea. Next up, we have something that actually is kind of maybe my cup of tea. That's Dying Light 2. Now, this one is one that should have been out, I think, maybe two years ago. It's one of those that kept getting constantly delayed. We're in the time where that happens. That's fine. But I don't know. I think the hype has maybe died a little since it was first announced between then and now. Yeah. Hopefully it's really good because I enjoyed playing Dying Light. It was a fun game. Uh, if you like killing zombies, it just took what was uh, that other one, Dead Island, and did that even better. So I'm, I'm all about Dead Rising. Or no, what is that? What? What is this? Dead Rising. That's a dying thing. light. Dying light. I'm all about okay. dying light. It's better than than uh, Dead Island. Yes. Okay, because that was not a good game. <laughs> I had fun with them. It wasn't the worst, but it was whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but not better than Dead Rising. Bring it back. Nothing is. It's true. And for our recommendation this week, it could have been Dead Rising, because Dead Rising was effing cool. It was effing cool. <laughs> New Year's resolution. We're kinder and gentler. Don't use the F word. <laughs> <laughs> and also because GDQ just finished up, and there was actually a really cool Dead Rising run, if you haven't checked that out. Watch yeah. that. Yeah. But instead, I'm actually going to recommend something that we've been playing a lot of, because... We're meta boys. Yeah, meta boys. <laughs> and uh, honestly, my favorite game on there so far, and yeah, you've got some good experiences. We're probably going to have a conversation about that here shortly. But walk about mini golf. Mini golf, walk about. Like literally, yeah, it's just mini golf. It's, it's putting some putts. But this is my favorite experience so far because the putting mechanics are surprisingly really good. Yeah, I'm honestly better at mini golf in real life now because of this game. <laughs> like, it, it's true. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, you've got the hunting for like golf balls on each course. Yeah. That's just fun stuff. Scavenger hunts and the hard ones for new putters. And as far as social experiences go, it's not some sweaty, try hard battle royale or anything like that it's just having fun with some buds yeah just picking up your putter and putting some putt gerald and i haven't actually seen each other in like a month and a half it's true but we hang out mini golfing all the time and it doesn't you know it, it, it doesn't feel like we haven't hung out in a while it feels like we you know just talked a couple of days ago the metaverse has replaced social interaction it's great it's uh, uh, no yeah, we'll have a meta chat. <laughs> but this is great. Walkabout mini golf is actually it's like only what fifteen bucks, fifteen twenty. I yeah, can't remember. it's a solid priced game. You might have gotten one of those headsets for Christmas. This is the game to buy. Yeah, it's on the Oculus Quest too. Yes. Put that up front. I, I don't think it's anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, it's not. There might be a PC version that you can in the Oculus Store, but I'm not sure. Yeah, no, this is an Oculus Quest 2 exclusive. It's a system seller. Yeah, it should be. I mean, if people knew. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's absolutely great. Come hang out in, in the metaverse with us. We'll yeah. all go mini golfing together. Yeah, probably not. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Hit us up in, Hit the, us in the comments. And I don't think we have a Discord. We do yet. have a Discord. We just don't. We have a Flickering Myth Gaming Discord. We don't use that Discord, so hit us in the comments. Hit us below. in the comments. And if you want to come to the Discord, let us know. And but we'll open it up. We'll see if we can remember how to get into it <laughs> or what Discord is. Thanks for coming back and joining us, guys. I know we've been gone away for a while. We had some holiday stuff and then some other stuff. Some COVID stuff. <laughs> but uh we're back to see you every week we've got a better setup and uh we've decided like i said kinder gentler and this is the face you'll see from now on yeah i don't want to be on camera anymore guys he's terrible at it yeah <laughs> no you're not we love you Thanks. but uh you're a better editor than i am and i'm a more friendly face than you are it's true it's true I'm too bitter too bitter to be in the in the spotlight. Thanks for coming back. We'll see you next week.